Along with the replies to my last video, the Curious Droid announcements, which I would like to thank you all for if you did actually reply, I am working my way through the things, I have now enabled the community contributions on all the Curious Droid videos, both past and going forward from here. So what does that mean, I hear some of you ask? Well, it means that if you are a non-English speaker, you can now translate the closed captions or the subtitles, the titles and the descriptions of any of the videos into your own language, which will allow other non-English speakers to enjoy the videos too. Now, if you've already done this before, you will know what to do. It's quite simple, but I had no idea how easy or how difficult this was. So after a bit of digging around in the YouTube help section, I found out how to do it. But it's not immediately obvious. So I made this video showing how you can do this for any video on any channel and not just the Curious Droid ones here. So firstly, find the video you want to translate. Under the video, normally in line with the thumbs up and thumbs down, you will see add, share and then three dots and usually the word more. It can vary from browser to browser, but it should look like it does here on Firefox. Click on the three dots more action and then a drop down box will appear. At the bottom of this list is add translations. Click on this. The translate window will appear with a video on the right. On the left, the top, you have the option to either translate the title and description or the subtitle stroke CC closed captions. You can do one of each or both, it's up to you. Under this is the language selection. Here on mine, you can see it's already showing English to English. Now I've already done the subtitles or closed captions for this video in English. So you will see that under each of the two options, it's saying locked. And the hover text is showing saying, only the owner can change this, which is correct. I don't want it changing again. But if you click on this switch language link to the right of the English to English part, a language selector will appear. Go down to the text box where it says search 186 other languages and start to type in the name of the language you want. So for example, D will bring up all the ones starting with D. S will do the same. There may be more than will fit in the box, so you may have to scroll down to find the one you want. When you've done that, in this case, I'm going to go and select Spanish United States. Then click on the Set Language button when you've found the one you want. The two options at the top of the page will now show Translate under each. So you can now supply a translation. It will show English to, in this case, Spanish United States. If a translation has been done, it will either show review or published. If it shows review, a translation has already been done and is pending. But you can go and review the other person's work to verify that it is actually correct. If it says published, then this has been done and it's been approved by the owner, which is me in this case. In the subtitle section, which we are currently in, you will see the time section on the left and then the original English text to the right of that part. And underneath, there is a blank area. If you click on that blank area, a text box appears. This is where you put the translation of a few words of English above into this. The translation will also appear as the subtitle on the video on the right hand side. There is an auto translate feature, but obviously this won't be anywhere near as good as a native speaker but I'm only using it here just to show the text over the video. All you need to do is go through the pieces of text till the end of the video. You don't actually have to do all of it. You can do part of it and then just save what you've already done. You don't need to change the timings on the left, just add the translated text in each section. When you've done that, there is a credit my contribution tick box just above the video on the left. Tick this box if you want your name to be credited in the video's description. If you want to remain anonymous, just leave it unticked. You can also translate the title and the description of a video. To do that, click on the title and description option at the top of the page. You can now add your translated text in the boxes on the right. One is for the title and the other is the description. When you've done that, click on the submit contribution button. It won't appear right away because it will have to be reviewed and verified by others in the community and then the owner, which is me. 
Once it has been done though, it will appear as an available translation in the settings and when the CC closed caption button is enabled. And that is pretty much it. Now it's up to you to translate whichever videos you want, but the most popular and the most recent would probably be the best places to start. So I will thank you in advance and I'll look forward to seeing your translations in action.